Welcome to the spoken tutorial on junk food. In this tutorial, we will learn about contents of junk food and harmful effects of junk food on our body. Any food can be considered as junk food depending upon three factors. First two factors are ingredients and the method of cooking. The nutrient content of the food is the third important factor. Junk food contains a high amount of sugar, salt, refined fat and refined flour. Most of the junk food is usually prepared by frying or baking. Many artificial colors, flavors and preservatives are added to these food. This is done to enhance the taste, appearance and shelf life of the food. Junk food are high in calories. They have none or little amounts of protein, fiber, vitamins and minerals. A few commonly consumed junk food are deep fried salty snacks. Majority of the fast food are also junk food. For example, pizza, burgers, french fries, noodles, puff pastry, samosa, etc. Some beverages are considered as junk food. For example, cold drinks, fruit juices and artificially flavored drinks. Even caffeinated drinks, soda and energy drinks are included. Sweets, deep fried sweets, jams, jellies, sauces, ketchups are also junk food. Biscuit, cake, chocolate, candy, ice cream are other examples. Let us now see the effect of junk food on our body. Junk food which is high in sugar causes immediate rise in blood sugar levels. As a result, the pancreas releases insulin in our blood. Insulin is a hormone which acts like a key to open the cells. The cells absorb sugar from the blood to provide us energy. Excess sugar gets stored as fat in the body. Regular eating of high sugar food can cause insulin resistance. During insulin resistance, the body is unable to respond to insulin or use it. Therefore, sugar is not taken up by our cells from the blood. As a result, there is a rise in insulin levels and blood sugar levels. The high insulin levels send signals for hunger to the brain. The body starts craving more food even if it is not hungry. This creates a vicious cycle and causes overeating. Let us understand this with an example. While eating a biscuit or laddu, we can't restrict ourselves to one piece. We crave to eat it more and more. We mostly finish the entire packet of biscuits or many laddus at a time. This is because of the hunger signals which are sent to the brain. Sugar also has an effect on blood pressure. On eating food high in sugar and salt, our sodium level increases. Sugar enhances the sodium absorption in the body by the kidney. As a result, sodium gets retained in the body. This causes an increase in blood pressure and water retention in the body. As a result, puffiness in hands and feet can be seen. Let me give you an another example. After eating chips, we usually feel thirsty. This is because sodium levels in our blood increases on eating salty food. The brain then sends signals of thirst so that we drink more water. Drinking water will dilute the sodium levels in the body. 
but drinking juice or cold drinks will increase the sugar levels in the body. This will result in a rise in the blood pressure. Apart from sugar and salt, most junk food have a lot of refined flour. Refined wheat flour is most commonly used. These refined flours are low in fiber and lack essential nutrients. Fiber has a very important role in the body. It gets digested slowly and gives us a feeling of fullness for a long time. Therefore, when we eat junk food low in fiber, it gets quickly digested. Our stomach gets empty very quickly and we feel hungry again. Another important benefit of fiber is to maintain a healthy gut. Our gut comprises of both good and bad bacteria. Fiber promotes the growth of good bacteria, thereby helping in proper digestion and absorption of nutrients. Other benefits are strong immunity, healthy skin and reduced inflammation. Fiber is also necessary for our stools to absorb water. This makes the stools soft and bulky. Thus, the stools move easily through the intestine. Since junk food is low in fiber, eating it regularly can cause constipation. The other disadvantage is that junk food reduces the good bacteria in the gut. This increases inflammation and the risk of various diseases. Some junk food are high in refined fats like trans fat. Cakes, biscuits, baked products, margarines, vanaspati all have trans fat. Trans fat raises the level of bad cholesterol and lowers good cholesterol. Cholesterol is a type of fat found in our blood. Good cholesterol helps in proper working of the brain, skin and heart. But excess of bad cholesterol is not good for our health. Mostly fried junk food is prepared using oils containing omega-6 fatty acid. Examples are sunflower oil, safflower oil, soybean oil. Even corn oil and cottonseed oil are included. The omega-6 in these oils raises the level of bad cholesterol in our body. Excess of bad cholesterol gets deposited on the walls of our blood vessels. Excess of omega-6 fatty acid also enhances inflammation in the body. This results in the development of insulin resistance and heart diseases. Excessive consumption of junk food has many harmful effects. Obesity, high blood pressure, diabetes are the most common. They can also cause a risk of increased bad cholesterol and heart diseases. Sleep disturbances or development of cysts in the ovaries can also happen. Eating too much junk food can upset the stomach. You may experience nausea vomiting and reduced appetite. Other effects of junk food are dental caries, allergies and cancer. Junk food lacks the necessary nutrients to keep our body healthy. Therefore, eating too much junk food can weaken our immune system, due to which we may often feel tired and weak. Usually, we are not aware about the ill effects of junk food on our health. Without giving a thought, we eat them regularly in large amounts. Therefore, we should be careful about choosing our food so that we stay healthy. This brings us to the end of the tutorial. Thank you for joining.